These fish can be found swimming in the waterways of northern South America, throughout both the Orinoco and Amazon river basins. Some electric eels prefer muddy water with slow to no currents. Others may enjoy fast-moving streams with rocky bottoms. It just depends on the species. As of 2019, it's been suggested that there isn't just one electric eel species, but three. Because there's still more to learn about this possibility, this episode will focus on electric eels in general. These fish are commonly known as eels, but they aren't really eels. Instead of being cousins with mores, electric eels are more closely related to catfish and carp. Electric eels are found in freshwater and generally live towards the bottom of the water column, though they don't always stay there, which we'll discuss a little later in the video. These fish are believed to spawn in the dry season, when waterways may be disjointed or even nearly dried up. The females produce an average of 1,500 eggs in a nest built by the males. This nest is made of foamy saliva, kind of like the bubbly nests made by betta fish. The male electric eel will take care of the nest until the wet season begins. When the rains come and the waters begin to flow, the eggs will hatch and the young eels will disperse. When the rainy season gives way to the dry season, streams will begin to dry, potentially cutting young electric eels off from main waterways. But this isn't much of an issue. Again, like betta fish, electric eels can breathe air. In fact, while electric eels do have gills, they do most of their breathing by popping up to the surface of the water, taking a gulp of air, and quickly swimming back down to the sediment. Electric eels can produce quite the shock, hence their charged name. An electric eel can produce enough electricity to knock a horse off its feet, though for a long time, scientists didn't believe that. We'll come back to this soon. Electric eels use their shock power for two reasons, defense and hunting. While hunting, electric eels may release a series of short, not so powerful charges to stun a prey item and then, like a mata mata, the electric eel will suck in the prey vacuum cleaner style. Young electric eels eat invertebrates, while adults eat fish, small mammals, as well as reptiles and amphibians. Electric eels release a charge all at once from cells inside their bodies that act sort of like batteries. It's believed an electric eel's thick skin protects it from its own shock. When it comes to shocking predators or any kind of potential threat, an electric eel will leap out of the water and deliver a strong charge. For a long time, scientists didn't believe a fellow scientist's observation of this phenomenon on horses, but now it's known to be absolutely true. And considering electric eels can produce more than 800 volts of electricity, that would literally be quite the shock. Electric eels can reach 6 to 8 feet in length. That's longer than most people are tall. And while it's not known how long electric eels live in the wild, they are known to live at least a decade or two in captivity. For more facts on electric eels, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.